So this cake that I have in the oven here is in for about three hours. I'm just going to test it with a skewer into the center. And if it's cooked, the skewer will come out absolutely clean. Now, I close the door quickly because as you can see here, there's still quite a bit of cake mixture actually on the skewer, which indicates that the cake needs to cook for another, say, anything from 15 to 30 minutes. And now you can see the cake is actually cooked because the skewer is completely clean. There's not a trace of the cake mixture on it there. So I'm going to take that out of the oven. There we are. And now I'm going to pour the last little drop of whiskey over the cake directly while it's still hot. Now, this is optional. If you don't have the whiskey, well then, you just leave it out. The cake will still taste very good. And if you don't have whiskey and you had a little drop of brandy, well, that would be fine as well. So there we are. And now, let that, your cake cool in the tin. And when it's completely cold, then you could wrap it in a couple of sheets of greaseproof paper and maybe also wrap it in a piece of tin foil as well and then store it in a nice cool dry place for several weeks if you have the time until you want to go ahead and ice it. So next I'm going to go ahead and make the almond icing. So let's get that out of the way. Here in this bowl I've got um, a pound of caster sugar and a pound of ground almonds. Now for your almond paste again be careful buy very good quality ground almonds. So now I'm going to bind that with two eggs. Put two eggs into a bowl here. There we are. And uh, into that I'm going to put two tablespoons of whiskey. Two tablespoons of whiskey. Like that, choose fairly small eggs because if they're too big, you'll actually have more liquid than you need. So we'll give that a little whisk up. And then the other thing I put in is just one bare drop of almond essence. Now, in many ways, I keep on emphasizing one drop because I often feel that almond essence is one of the most lethal um, ingredients you can have in your kitchen, basically because it's so strong. The, when I say one drop, I mean just put the tiniest little bit onto a spoon and then drop a single drop in because if you just pour it into uh, the eggs there the whole thing will taste very very strong of almond essence and a lot of almond essence are actually synthetic this particular one is a pure essence but the synthetic ones have an even stronger flavor so now I'm going to mix the caster sugar and the almonds together like that so now add in the um, egg now don't shoot the whole lot in together which I very nearly did, just in case you don't need all the liquid. And I would normally mix this with my hands, just um, because it's the easiest thing to do. Make sure your hands are nice and clean first. Squeeze it together then, like that. If it gets a bit too sticky, well then just add a little bit more ground almonds to it. There we are. So now, uh, use uh, either some icing sugar or you could use um, caster sugar for rolling out your, your almond paste.
and that's it. That's fine. And now all you have to do is pop that into a moderate oven and give it about sort of 15, 20, 25 minutes. Just watch it and make sure, whoops-a-daisy, that it browns evenly.